Hi, I'm Lainey. We're gonna work on practicing our swivels solo. We're going to use some tools called mini bands or a resistance band. These are a specific type that I like because they're much more comfortable on my legs for practice. There's a link in the description below if you wanna get these same ones. You can also just use a regular long resistance band and tie a knot in it. We do need something that stretches to practice this. So first we're just going to go over our swivel footwork very briefly by ourselves and solo with no resistance band and then I'll show you how we can use this to practice our better technique. To practice our swivel footwork we're just going to all do this on the right foot to start and we're going to cross on the slow with our right foot and then continue our quick quick slow. We'll have five, six and here we go and slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow and quick quick slow. And swivel, swivel, step. And swivel, swivel, step. And swivel, swivel, step. And swivel, swivel, step. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the most common problem with swivels is that we disengage our lower body from our upper body, which means we try to move our swivels from our legs. So anytime if you watch yourself on video and you see your swivels stepping out and your body doesn't go with it or your legs end up in a different angle from each other, this resistance band exercise is going to help us keep our legs pointing in the same direction that they need to be throughout this exercise. We notice our knees should stay parallel as much as they can to create really nice basic swivels that contain all the right shapes for our natural body patterns. I have two different resistance bands here. We can use the light one if this is something that is brand new, or we can use a little bit more heavy resistance band, which I find often will stay on my legs a little bit better for this exercise. I'll demonstrate with the heavy one. I'm going to put this resistance band around my thighs. It's going to be a couple inches above my knees so that I can make sure I have to work against the band. Good for practicing slides too. <laughs> However, my goal here is that I can tell if I've stretched one leg versus moving them together because I don't want to work against the band. I need my legs to work with the band instead of against the band. The band is just there to remind us when we have made a mistake, such as stepping our feet wide. And it will roll up. Sometimes if you're wearing pants, it won't roll up as much. So let's do this exercise with the resistance band. We have five, six, and here we go. Cross, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. You can add one more layer of information in the sense that we need to have a little bit of counter body rotation in our upper and lower bodies. So I can use a wall to help stabilize my upper body from moving in like one big piece with my lower body. So I put my hands very lightly against the wall because they will move a little bit. Essentially, my upper body is stabilizing and pushing against the wall as if I would be pushing against my partner's hand or shoulder. Five, six, here we go. Slow, a quick, quick, slow, a quick, quick, slow, and 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 quick, quick, slow. A one, a two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how we can practice our swivels by ourselves using a resistance band to help us. If you want more videos like this and you're interested in some solo dance tips, subscribe to my channel as well as I'm Lainey. Hi everyone. <laughs>